People heavy metal band are devastated after its lead singer was killed in a motorcycle crash. Mitch Lucker was a rising star and tonight hundreds have gathered to remember him. KTLA 5 Stephen Chase live in Huntington Beach with more. Stephen. Share about three to four hundred people showed up here tonight for the eight o'clock vigil. Now about five dozen or so remain lighting candles, sharing memories of Mitch Lucker, who crashed his motorcycle at the light pole that you see, and he was killed at the age of 28. Came to pay my respects to an amazing man. Mitch Lucker has millions of fans, many turning up here tonight after learning the lead singer of Suicide Silence was killed after losing control of his motorcycle. He struck this light pole near the intersection of Main and 13th and was thrown from his brand new Harley Davidson. The accident happened Halloween night. He died at UCI Medical Center in Orange this morning. And as soon as it hit the internet this morning, it was everything was blown up with him. Thousands of Suicide Silence fans logging onto Facebook to write condolences to the band and to Mitch Lucker's family. If you, as you can tell, look at all these people out here just for him. Many here say his music not everyone gets, but for them it's powerful. Like Tina Tun, she says she was off track in high school doing destructive things, but something she heard in Mitch Lucker's voice made her turn her life around. I got myself together and I went to college. I only have three semesters left in school and I owe that to Mitch. Lots of tears, lots of hugs in memory of the lead singer of the death metal band. The 28-year-old was also a native of Huntington Beach. All of his lyrics that he's put together and it just, I can't even describe it. It's, it just uplifts people. It gets them through hard times. Now, there is an investigation into how Mitch Lucker lost control of his motorcycle, whether or not alcohol played a role. But tonight, the only thing on the minds of fans that we talk to is disbelief that this rising rock star is gone too soon. Reporting live in Huntington Beach, Stephen Chase, KTLA 5 News.